I'm Wendy Garner for Children's of Alabama. It can be called the silent killer. We're talking about carbon monoxide poisoning. Join me right now is Ann Slattery, who is the director of the Regional Poison Control Center here at Children's. So good to see you. Okay. We, we talk about this and think about it during the winter months, but this is a risk all year long, isn't it? Exactly. Anytime you have an appliance that uses gas or you have a car, a garage that's attached to the home, you're at risk of carbon monoxide, though December and January are the peak months. How prevalent is this problem? It is estimated that five to 6,000 people a year die from carbon monoxide poisoning. Wow. And one estimate is there's about 50,000 emergency department visits, mm -hmm. but in one medical journal, they estimate greater than 200,000 that it's often misdiagnosed as the flu or gastroenteritis or something like that. And this is called the silent killer, isn't it? Because yes. it's a colorless, odorless gas that emits through the home. Exactly. Okay. It is odorless, colorless, and tasteless, so you can't see it. A carbon monoxide detector, not just your smoke detector, but a carbon monoxide detector is important for any of these homes. Yes, if you have gas appliances, a garage, or use kerosene heaters, or have a fireplace, you need a carbon monoxide detector. And, and you may think, oh, I'll never leave my car running, but it does happen. Yes, People it does. without thinking just get out of the car sometimes and forget to turn off the engine. And people sometimes will use their leaf blower inside their garage. Yeah. Anything that runs on gasoline, if you use it in the garage, those fumes can get into your house. So you should have a carbon monoxide about 10 to 15 feet away from your garage door. If you have a fireplace, you should have it 10 to 15 feet from your fireplace. Nice. There should be a carbon monoxide detector on each level and outside the bedroom. And again, there's no warning. A lot of times people just fall asleep, right? That's the scary thing. Exactly, um, because it can make you drowsy. And depending on high, how high the levels are in your home, you can go to sleep. You may have nausea, vomiting, headache, that type of thing and just think you're getting sick and not realize. Sometimes you will be asleep when the levels uh, rise mm -hmm. and then of course you would not wake up. All right, some very good tips. Ann Slattery, thank you so much. And for people to contact Poison Control if they have any questions or concerns about this or anything else, how can they do that? At 1-800-222-1222. All right, thank you so much for some very important tips. And you can also go to our website, childrensal.org.